Hey there guys and welcome back to Mortal Kombat. Time for chapter 8. A pity you could not have cooperated. You are ordered to return to the Lin Kuei Temple for assimilation. Cyrex! I am Lin Kuei Unit LK4D4. You will come with me. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but I will not comply. Oh snap, they got Cyrax too, even though he was totally against it and like left the link way for that. They still hunted him down and turned him into a cyborg off screen, I guess. And well, Sub Zero really doesn't have a lot of special moves, he only has four. That's like not much compared to the rest of the MK characters. Oh well, we'll just have to make do. Oh, that was a pretty nice move. And it creates an ice sword out of something and smashes the opponent with it. Nice. That's a pretty nice move. I think I'm gonna be using that. That's not even one of his special moves, it's just a regular combo. Nice. Oh, and his throw has him stabbing someone through the chest with an ice sword? Damn, Sub-Zero is awesome. Dare I say that he is cool? Damn, that's the second time I made that pun today. First with Ice Kirby and Kirby, and now with this. Jeez, I need to stop using these lame puns. And yeah, there's Cyrax's X-Ray, so you've seen that one too. Because I failed to pull it off in Chapter 4. But now at least you've seen it. And I should do my X-Ray probably. Nope, he's not gonna get me... Well, I really only have like a sliver of HP left. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yeah. Awesome. Okay, Cyrax, bring it. Okay, that's Sub-Zero's Ice Clone, and his Ice Ball freezes people so you can get free hits in. The thing where he shoots at the ground is Ice Puddle, that move is absolute crap. Because the odds of the opponent actually falling for it are next to none. I mean, hell, even the AI doesn't fall for it 99% of the time, then how do you expect to trick a human opponent into it? But the Ice Ball still works, and his Ice Slide is pretty good for approaching. But Ice Puddle is pretty much useless, so he only has three useful special moves. But they are good ones. The Ice Ball can really combo nicely. Oh, not again. Oh, my neck. That does look like it hurts. That was probably a fatal x-ray right there. I mean, if you get your neck smashed and mangled up like that, chances are you're not gonna make it out alive. But Sub-Zero does because Mortal Kombat is complete bullshit. Anyways, yay, we won. I will face the Lin Kuei when my task is done, not before. The readings were getting stronger and now they're gone. I... Sub-Zero? But you're dead. I am not the Sub-Zero you speak of. He was my brother. Your brother? I am only here to learn Sub-Zero's fate. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Colosseum. That's where... You have disturbed our regeneration process. Holy shit, Ermac means business. Frickin' rips off Jax's arms like that. Okay, let's get him. We'll make him pay for what he did to badass black dude. Because no one messes with badass black dude. At least not without getting payback later on. Will Jax get his revenge on Ermac? Wait and see. But, ah, frickin' telekinesis grab. Why can't I have that? Well, I can stab him with ice swords. That is equally cool. Damn it, I said I stopped making puns like that. It's just inevitable to make puns about being cool when you're playing as Sub Zero. 
It is just one of those inevitabilities of life. And slide him. Yeah, he just keeps falling for the freaking ice ball. Yes, I know I'm spamming it like crazy, but that's like his only good move. That's a staple of Sub-Zero players. You cannot use Sub-Zero and not use the... Uh, wait, how did I not get that uppercut? And why can he float in mid-air if he's frozen? Oh, well, maybe... Outworld defies gravity. That has to be it. Yeah, they have, like, different... Like, Isaac Newton doesn't have any laws here. It's all messed up. Although, when you uppercut them, they come back down like there's normal gravity, so... What's up with that? Like, you'd think if you'd freeze someone in midair, they'd fall to the ground and shatter into a million pieces. Now, that would be awesome, but that would probably make Sub-Zero broken, and that's why they didn't do it. And yeah, I must say, Ermac isn't really putting up as much of a fight as Cyrax did, and I'm thankful for it. There we go, so much for Ermac. I remain whole for now. Sonya Blade to command. Sonya Blade to command, do you read? Sonya Blade to command, do you read? You have stopped the bleeding. Yeah, but he needs a medic as soon as possible. I must go to the Colosseum. But I need your help to There's get There's a portal to the south. You can use it to transport yourselves back to Earthrealm. Mother... F that portal better be close. I failed. I deserve death. I have failed my father. You must kill me. Kill him! Katana! You will join me. Shao Kahn! I challenge Scorpion, the murderer of my brother. You will bring him before me. No one makes demands of the Emperor. Reptile! Uh, that's not the ninja we're after. It's the yellow one we want. Because in the original Mortal Kombat games, like they had, uh... Characters didn't really have any unique models, because most of them were like recolors of each other. You had like the basic male ninja, which you had a yellow one, which was scorpion, a blue one, which was sub-zero, a green one, which was reptile, a red one, which was ermac, a gray one, which was smoke. Yeah, they were real lazy in the first Mortal Kombat games. I think there was also a purple one called Rain. Yes, that is a reference to the freaking Prince song. But Rain is not in this game yet. He's apparently supposedly coming out as DLC in the summer. And so, yeah. And they had like a female ninja which they recolored to make uh, Kitana, a blue one, Jade, the green one, another character which was purple who was going to appear later on in the storyline which I will not spoil and neither will any of you people seriously I'm gonna be dealing with people who are posting spoilers more these days like you can't just keep getting away with it oh crap oh my eyes and his neck and kick him in the guts Overkill much reptile and yet he still gets up like it's nothing. He can still see his head still on straight And he doesn't seem to be suffering from internal bleeding. I don't spit man. That's gross And how does he even spit? He has a freaking mask on How does that work? He spits through the mask Oh wait, he briefly takes it off and then puts it back on like in the blink of an eye Anyways so much for reptile I would kill you, but that is not my purpose here. Your followers hold you in high esteem, Warlord. 
They fight and die for your amusement. My brother participated in this folly. I do so only to face his killer. And you shall. What is this? You are not Sub-Zero. I am his family and clan. I fight for his honor. He had no honor. And you will die as he did. Oh, this battle is tense. Both really want to kill each other. So, let's get it on. Although Scorpion is a pretty difficult opponent because he has this really annoying teleport. And I don't know why, but Sub-Zero doesn't have a teleport. Now, in MK vs. DC Universe, I could have sworn... Like, he had a crap load of special moves in that game that are nowhere to be found in this one. He could, uh... He had like a teleport where he like fell into the ground backwards and came up behind his opponent. He could like freeze a giant clump of ice in midair which would then crash down onto the opponent and I think that was unblockable. I think he had a bunch of other moves that I can't really remember because I haven't played MK vs DC in ages. Because I have that on my Xbox which my little brother stole. Freaking douchebag. Oh well. Uh, first round is for us. Nice. And, ooh, Ice Puddle actually works. Yeah, the AI keeps falling for it, but good luck trying to fool a real human into it, that move. It's just so easily dodged. You can jump over it. You can just take a step backwards and you're completely safe. And he, Scorpion has a similar move with the fire. I kind of like parallels of each other, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Although Scorpion is... In this game he's arguably better because he has more special moves and stuff. He has a teleport, he has a pretty reliable projectile. In the uh, kunai chain thingy. And crap, why am I losing this? I need to focus. Come on. Ah, freaking teleport whenever I do the bloody ice ball. Wait. And my x-ray failed because he blocked it. Yes, you can block x-ray moves. Usually, I don't really do that because I simply hardly ever block. Yeah. A good offense is the best defense, they always say. Ooh, nice pose. That would have made a lovely ice sculpture. Oh, crap. No, 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 I'm losing again. Damn, this scorpion really is giving it his all. He really wants to see this Sub-Zero dead as well. So he can... Shatter another spine. No, 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 no. I hate that fire move. I think that's actually unblockable. I don't really know. I don't really play a scorpion that much. Like, I used them. Ah, oh, my x ray move, not again. Okay, this requires a retry. But we'll get him eventually. One thing that's bad about Sub Zero's Ice Ball is it doesn't cause chip damage. Like, all other projectiles cause damage when they're blocked, but the ice ball doesn't. Because, you know, being shot with a ball of ice does not hurt, even if you block it. Because ice is, like, hard and all, and it can shatter into sharp shards. Oh, well, at least we're getting him real good this time. Get him, get him, get him. Crap. Sometimes I have trouble getting close enough in time for them to, like, to hit him before they thaw out. But that's with the ice slide. Crap. Come on. Why do they never ever fall for my ice clone? It's almost as bad as the bloody ice puddle. Like, I think if they hit the ice clone, the opponent becomes frozen instead. So that's a pretty handy move if you can manage to pull it off. So Sub-Zero really only has two viable special moves, and that's the ice ball and the ice slide. And the ice ball isn't really... It only works if they're not blocking. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this one. Yeah. Nice. Come on, come on. We can do this. Just, yeah, throw him, stab him, and we won. I will see you guys in the next part of Mortal Kombat. For my brother! No, you...
Who now interrupts the Emperor's tournament? Sub-Zero? No! You cannot save him. Stay here, or they will take you as well. We request that we may return him to our temple for judgment. And what do I gain from granting this bold request? The Lin Kuei's loyalty and service. Very well. He is yours. The flow of time has been changed. I spared smoke this fate, only to watch this new Sub-Zero fall. No! I will not be turned! Katana! How is it that Earthrealm ninjas brazenly appear before me when my daughter, Princess of Outworld, was sent to intercept them? Father, Be I... gone! Katana's faith is a slender reed bent before the storm, if it can be uprooted altogether. Sure, let's go ruin someone else's life. <laughs>